Hi guys, once again welcome back to VBC Techni. Here is Virendra Babu. Dear students, this is my second video on light reflection at carrier surfaces. In previous session, I discussed about the basic class of reflection at plane mirrors, and in today's session, I am going to discuss about the ray diagrams of concave mirror. If you have not watched my previous videos, please go through it. and please subscribe to my channel so that you can access my videos regularly without wasting much time let us start today's session so dear students in today's class we are discussing about ray diagrams for concave mirrors to study the ray diagrams we should have idea about few technical terms what are those hole p center of curvature principal axis principal focus and focal plane focal length radii of curvature let us discuss one by one the first one is pole what is pole the center of the curved mirror is called pole i have taken a curved surface here that is concave mirror the center of this curved surface is here this is what so this uh, point p is called pole the next one is the center of curvature what is center of curvature the center of the sphere from which the mirror is made is called center of curvature what it mean this uh, concave mirror is actually taken off from this spherical surface the center of this sphere the center of this sphere is called center of curvature the distance from pole to center of curvature is called radius of curvature the line joining the center p and pole p is called principal axis the next definition we are going to discuss is the principal focus the point on the principal axis where parallel rays meet after reflection is called principal focus let us see here these are the parallel rays which incidence on the concave mirror after reflection they will meet at a point on the principal axis this point is called principal focus the next one is focal length the distance between pole p and focal point r principal focus f is called focal length f the next one is focal plane the plane passing through the principal focus and perpendicular to the principal axis is called principal focus here a plane which is passing through this point focal point and perpendicular to the principal axis that plane is called as focal plane this is what the focal plane now the conclusion here is what is the relation between the radius of curvature and focal length the relation between radius of curvature and focal length is given by r is equals to 2f what it mean here is we have to observe this particular diagram carefully the distance from p to f is f and this distance is also equals to f to c f to so fc is also equals to f and one more point pc is nothing but distance between pole and center of curvature this is radius of curvature r so this pc is equals to pf plus fc that is f plus f which is equals to 2f the mathematical derivation of this relation we will have in a separate session now we will discuss about the rules for ray diagrams of concave mirror we have four rules namely r1 r2 r3 and r4 
let us discuss them individually the first rule r1 will discuss what it says a ray parallel to the principal axis passes through the principal focus after reflection what it mean let us draw a parallel ray this ray is parallel to the principal axis so this ray is called as parallel ray this parallel ray after reflection it passes through the principal focus why because if you draw the normal at the point of incidence the laws of reflection are obeyed that is angle of incidence is equals to angle of reflection and the incident ray reflected ray normal lies in the same plane coming to the second rule that is r2 a ray passing through the principal focus becomes parallel to the principal axis after reflection means let us consider a light ray passing through the focal point this is what the light ray passing through the focal point after reflection it becomes parallel ray this is parallel ray because it is parallel to the principal axis why because again if you draw the normal at the point of incidence it satisfies the laws of reflection that is i is equals to r angle i is equals to angle r now let us come to the third rule what it says a ray passing through the center of curvature c is rebounded back in the opposite direction that is here this is the ray which incidents along the c but here the light ray uh, is incidenting at an angle of zero that is angle of incidence is equal to zero in this case so it rebounds exactly back because normal also lies in the same direction coming to the last rule that is r4 a ray incidenting obliquely to the principal axis towards the pole p is reflected obliquely following all the laws of reflection what it means let us consider a oblique incidenting ray which incidents at pole p so what happens it just rebounds back following the laws of reflection that is angle i is equals to angle r these are the four important rules by using any two rules you can draw the ray diagram pose a question to you people a ray is pointing towards the pole p along the principal axis what is the direction of reflected ray here the light ray is passing along the principal axis and incidenting at point p that is pole p so in which direction the light ray will be reflected here the light ray is reflected exactly in a backward direction because the angle of incidence is equal to zero in this case also okay